Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Olua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, it shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. One more time. That that matter, this very day, the Lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. So why not sit down, get ready for a defined encounter, for a life transforming testimony. You are welcome, Jesus' name. I decree, I declare concerning you, sir, concerning you, ma'am, that this very month, as the Lord liveth, you will testify to the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. You will testify to the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. You will testify to the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, wherever you are joining me from this hour, the third day of this program, the year fruitful, coming on for fruitfulness. Can we all lift up our hand and let's appreciate our Lord, our God? Wherever you are, wherever you are joining me from, I want you to lift up your hand and let's appreciate God. Let's bless His holy name. Let's give Him thanks. Let's give Him praise. Let's worship Him. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, for His mercy endure forever. Our Lord is good for His mercy endure forever. I want you to lift up your hand and celebrate God. I want you to lift up a hand and worship him. I want you to lift up a hand and give him all the praise, give him all the honor, give him all the adoration. Let's bless his holy name. For day one, let's worship him. For day two, let's worship him for all that God has started to do in your life, in your marriage, concerning your conception, concerning your children that are coming. I want you to lift up a hand and celebrate God. Lift up your hand and give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Worship him. It's worthy to be praised. 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 Why not lift up your hand and appreciate God? Why not lift up your hand and give him all the praise? Give him all the honor. Let's say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. I want you to appreciate God because this season, people are coming together to celebrate God in your life. So for this reason, lift up your hand and appreciate Him. Appreciate God. Appreciate Him. I still want you to open your mouth and celebrate God this season. Celebrate Him ahead of time. Celebrate Him for His faithfulness. Celebrate him because this month God is going to remember you and he will open your womb in the name of Jesus. Appreciate him because this very month the Lord God will remember you and he will open your womb for conception in the name of Jesus. Celebrate him, appreciate him because this very month the Lord will remember you. He will ask you to your prayer and testimony shall come forth in the name of Jesus. So why not lift up your hand and say thank you, Jesus? Because this month, I'm going to conceive. Because this month, Book of Remembrance for Fruitfulness is going to open concern me. Lift up a hand and appreciate him. Bless his holy name. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Thank you, mighty Father. Bless be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are pray. Our Lord, our God, want to say thank you for another wonderful time. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our marriage. 
Thank you for our business. Thank you for our career. And thank you for this season. The season that you have proposed to hope the book of remembrance concerning each and every one of us. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. My Lord, my God, as you come before you this hour, come on for fruitfulness. Be ye fruitful. I ask the Father, you arise in your power, you arise in might, you arise in your glory, you arise in your honor, you visit each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. That which is difficult for us to achieve, that fruitfulness which look difficult for us to achieve, that fruitfulness which, dif which look difficult for medical people to help us to achieve, Father, I ask that this season you arise and you do it in the name of Jesus. And at the end of today, all glory, all honor, all adoration be unto your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I welcome every one of us who are online. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. And every one of us who are listening to this audio, I welcome you to your time of fruitfulness, to your season of fruitfulness. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. I said you are all welcome in the name of Jesus. Ahead of time, today is day three of being fruitful. We started it day before yesterday. Yesterday was day one. Yesterday, day two. And today, day three. Amen. As I shared with us day before yesterday, I was planning, I was praying last month, one of the days when I was praying, and uh, I hear the Holy Spirit that ministered to me, be ye fruitful. June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Be ye fruitful. June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And when I was asking Holy Spirit what he mean by be ye fruitful, and he said, for those who are believing God for fruit of the womb, Bring them together, break communion for them because I want to open the book of remembrance for them concerning their fruitfulness. I want to open the book of remembrance and I want them to be fruitful. Praise the Lord. That was how I said the message out that by the grace of God, June 1st, June 2nd, and June 3rd, for those of us who are believing God for fruit of the womb, we should come online with our communal material a drink, and uh, the flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Your bread, your biscuit, your wafer. Praise the Lord. And if you are joining us from your office, please, continue your, continue working. Just get a cup of water, the water that you will drink. Please, just get it. Amen. We are going to pray on it, and the Lord God will give us testimony in the name of Jesus. It's not a planting. God proposed it. God said this is what he want to do. So because he's the one that said he want to do it. The Bible said God is not a man that he will lie. Neither the son of man that will repent. That means that we change his mind. Have he said it? Will he not do it? Have he spoken? Will he not bring it to pass? So I pray for you. So I pray for you, man. This very season. The word of God concerning your life for fruitfulness. The Lord will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. I said that Lord will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. So please get your communal material ready. We look at one or two scriptures. We take some prayer and uh, we break our communal and we go and begin to rejoice. Praise the Lord. Hear me, sir. Hear me, ma. As I said, that it was born out of revelation, out of God's order that this is what I want to do. Go online, gather my people together and bring communal for them. Praise the Lord. So the word of God can never be broken. Did you hear me, man? The word of God can never be broken. If God has said it, he will do it. His word can never, never be broken. No one can change it. If he has said it, it's not me that said it. It was God that said it. So if God has said it, hear me, sir, hear me, man. He will surely do it. He will surely bring it to pass. 
His work can never be broken. He declared you fruitful. Did you hear me? He said, be ye fruitful. So which means God has declared you fruitful. And as God has declared you fruitful, hear me, sir, hear me, man. Indeed, you are fruitful. Nothing can change it. Nothing can remove from it. Nothing can add to it in the name of Jesus. Did you hear me? God said, be ye fruitful. That means, as you are listening to me, my sister, my brother, be ye fruitful. This is the word of God for your life for this season. So God has said it. No work can remove it. No work can add to it. No work can subtract from it. And no work can manipulate it. As God has declared it, as God has proposed it, you shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Number two, you are not the one that choose, choose yourself to be fruitful. I am not the one that chooses you to be fruitful. It is not your husband, neither is it your wife. No man can make anyone to be fruitful. No one declare you fruitful. Did you hear me? It is not the report of medical people that declare you fruitful. You are declared fruitful because God chooses you. Did you hear me, my sister? Hello, man. Did you hear what I just said? You are not the one that makes yourself or that declare yourself that you are going to be fruitful. God chooses you to be fruitful. John 15, verse 16. John 15, verse 16. You have not chosen your you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and I ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. And whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give you. Should I read that scripture again? John 15 verse 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. I did not only choose you, I ordain you. To ordain means you set apart. You set apart. In the book of uh, in the book of Exodus, when God gave Moses the pattern of the tabernacle, there are some things there. God asked Moses that he should anoint them. That is ordination. To anoint them. To anoint them means to sanctify them. To sanctify them means to set them apart. This thing, no one use it. This thing. I am the only one that can use it. This thing, I set them apart for this particular work. Praise the Lord. There are some family. The plate, the fork, the spoon that the father used, no one else use it. It's not that there's something special about it. But we set them apart to honor the father of the house. Praise the Lord. Every cup in this office that I use for communion, I don't use to use them to take water. I have another cup. If I want to drink water that I use, why? They are material set apart for communion. They are material set apart for communion. Praise the Lord. I set them apart for that particular assignment. Praise the Lord. So, go back to John 15 verse 16. You are not choosing God. And you are not choosing yourself that you are going to be fruitful. But God choose you. Number one, God pick you. God said you must be the one. And when he shoots you, he ordained you. That means he set you apart. Set you apart for what? He ordained you. He set you apart and he asked you to go and bring forth fruit. John 15, 16. As you are going after these three days, communion, as you are going back to your house, as you are going, according to... Um, According to the word of the Lord, in the book of the uh, Bible, 1 Samuel 1, 19 to 20. 1 Samuel 1, 19 to 20. After Hannah had a counter with the Lord, the Bible said he went back to the house with his husband, El Elkanah. And the Bible said Elkanah knew his wife. Elkanah knew and what happened. There was testimony. So hear me, sir, hear me, man. As you are going back to your house, as you are going back to your marriage, you and your husband to know yourself to sit together to begin to plan oh we want a boy we want a girl this is how we are going to raise them here mr here me. i'm leaving you with this ordination the ordination for you to be fruitful and god said i ordain you for you to go and bring fruit and that your fruit will remain so the ordination the communion you are taking today is for two purposes Number one, for you to go and be fruitful. And not only for you to be fruitful, for your fruit to remain. 
what is the meaning? As you are going, God is going to remember you. God is going to remember his covenant of fruitfulness upon you. And as God remember his covenant of fruitfulness upon you, God is going to open your womb. He's going to bless you. You are going to be pregnant. And look at the second one. That your fruit should remain. No abortion or pregnancy. No still birth. That is what the Bible is saying. Not only that, even at the time of delivery, there is not going to be manipulation. And not only that, your children, the children that are coming after this communion, amen, they are going to live and outlive you. You will not bury any of your children in the name of Jesus. Genesis 1, God bless them. God bless you. God said, be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth. So hear me, sir, hear me, man. Today, you are going back to your marriage. Every wrong mindset, every wrong medical issue, God has gone ahead to take care of them. Every law, every decree, every medical report by the blood of Jesus, they are automatic suspend. Did you hear me? Every medical report that says you cannot be fruitful, every medical report about you, about your husband, today, by this blood of Jesus that you are taking today, by this table of life, the table of communion, Every law that said you are not going to be fruitful, they are suspended in the name of Jesus. I say they are suspended in the name of Jesus. They are suspended in the name of Jesus. Can you take that communion in your hand? I'm just going to bless you. I'm going to declare and declare upon you. And after that, you take the communion and you begin to celebrate God. Praise the Lord. Can you hold the communion in your hand? If you are in the office, if you are working, you are just using your earpiece to listen. Continue when it is time for you to take it. I will tell you. But if you are, have access to hold on to the cup of water or the communal, please hold them in your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Micah 7 verse 11 says, In the day that your world is to be built, in the day that your world is to be established, in the day that you are going to be fruitful, every law shall be removed far from you. Today, because it is the day that God has shown Susan, that God has set apart for you to be blessed, fruitful, for your womb to be blessed, every law, every decree, every medical report, every spiritual report, every negative prophecy, negative prediction, every negative dream that says you cannot be fruitful, today, they are suspended in the name of Jesus. I said they are suspended in the name of Jesus. They are suspended in the name of Jesus. They are suspended in the name of Jesus. Today, I declare, I declare by the blood of Jesus. The Lord remember his covenant of fruitfulness over your life in the name of Jesus. Today, by the blood of Jesus, the Lord remember the covenant of fruitfulness over your life, over your home, over your marriage, your business in the name of Jesus. Today, every medical problem, every spiritual problem associated with your unfruitfulness, Today, the Lord declared them non and void in the name of Jesus. Today, every medical report, every spiritual report, every medical problem, every spiritual problem associated with you not being fruitful. Today, the Lord declared them non and void in the name of Jesus. The Lord declared them non and void in the name of Jesus. Every medical issue, every medical report, every medical problem, irregular ovulation, Blockage of a uh, fallopian tube, abnormalities of the uterus, amen, fibroid, endometriosis, pelvic inflammation, disease, pelvic adhesion, or uh, ovulation uh, disorder, primary ovarian sufficient, cancer, or whatsoever it may be that is bringing in unfruitfulness your way. Today, I decree, I declare by the blood of Jesus. All those medical issues, the Lord correct them in the name of Jesus. The Lord correct them in the name of Jesus. All perversion, it has to do with you, a man, or your husband. Amen. I decree, I declare, every male reproductive problem, the Lord correct them in the life of your husband, in your own life, in the name of Jesus. Spam, problem with spam quality, problem with spam uh, quantity, Premature ejaculation, genetic disease, exposure to pesticide, exposure to chemical, exposure to radiation, or drug abuse that cause your infertility. 
Today, I decree, I declare, by the blood of Jesus, the Lord correct them in the name of Jesus. Both you and your wife, both you and your husband, today, from those medical issues that brought in delay, today, the Lord suspend them in the name of Jesus. The Lord suspend them in the name of Jesus. The Lord suspend them in the name of Jesus. Today, by the blood of Jesus in your hand that you are about to take, the Lord declare you fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus upon you, upon your husband, upon you, upon your wife, I declare divine correction in the name of Jesus, divine healing, divine restoration, divine correction, 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 divine healing, divine restoration, in the name of Jesus. And any social problem that have entered into your life as a result of delay in your fruitfulness, violence, stigma, emotional uh, stress, depression, anxiety, low, uh, low, low self-esteem, amen. I decree today all those social Problem, social uh, vices that enter to your life as a result of that delay. Today, the Bible says, For your shame, you shall have double. For your shame, you shall have double. Today, for those shame, for those re reproach, let the Lord God add value to your life in the name of Jesus. Receive double. Receive double, 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 receive double. In the name of Jesus. Today, by the blood of Jesus, let that be defined correction in your system in the name of Jesus. Today, by the blood of Jesus, let that be defined healing in the name of Jesus. Any healing, any spiritual surgery that must be carried out, any spiritual healing that must come your way in order for you to be fruitful, by the blood of Jesus, receive it in the name of Jesus. Anything that have gone wrong, anything that have been displaced in your reproductive system, Today, by the blood of Jesus, let the Lord God bring a reorder and restoration in the name of Jesus. Reorder and restoration. 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 Reorder and restoration in the name of Jesus. And if the reason for your delay have to do with spiritual, as a result of witchcraft attack, as a result of occultic manipulation, hear me, sir, hear me, man. According to Numbers 23, 23, for surely there is no enchantment against you. There is no enchantment. There is no divination. There is no occultism. For surely there is no enchantment against each and every one of you. Neither there is any divination against your fruitfulness. According to this time, it shall be said of you and of your family what God has done. I decree, I declare concerning you, man, concerning you, sir. Every enchantment, every divination, every work of darkness, every work of unfruitfulness. Today, by the blood of Jesus, every cancel them in the name of Jesus. 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 Isaiah 54, verse 17. Isaiah 54, verse 17. Isaiah 54, verse 17. Please open your Bible to that place. Isaiah 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn. You shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And the righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Today I decree, I declare, every weapon of hell, Every weapon of unfruitfulness that the enemy have formed, that the enemy have put in place, and that is working against your unfruitfulness. Today, according to Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So we declare, we declare those weapons in the name of Jesus, none and void in the name of Jesus. Every weapon of unfruitfulness, we set them on fire in the name of Jesus. We set them on fire. 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 Every weapon of unfruitfulness. Anything that the enemy have put in place to make you unfruitful. Today, the Lord set them on fire. 
The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. The Lord set them on fire. In the name of Jesus. I say every tongue that rises against you, you shall condemn. Every tongue that is causing you, every tongue that is saying it is not yet time for you to be fruitful, every tongue that is causing you, every tongue that is saying it is not yet time for you to be fruitful, today, as the Lord live, the Lord silent them in the name of Jesus. The Lord silent them. 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 I decree, I declare, it is your ceasing to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. It is your season for you to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. It is your season for you to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. It is your season for you to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. It is your season for you to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. It is your season for you to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Every negative prophecy of unfruitfulness, every negative prophecy, every negative word, every negative word that anyone has said concerning you that you will not be fruitful today heaven can sue them in the name of jesus and the lord decree and declare from today go forth and be fruitful in the name of jesus today heaven release you to go forth and be fruitful in the name of jesus today the lord release you go forth and be fruitful in the name of jesus Today, I decree the word of God concerning your life, concerning your home, concerning your marriage, concerning your business. The Lord declare you, go forth, the Lord release you. Go forth and be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Go forth and be fruitful. 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 Go forth and be fruitful in the name of Jesus. And last but not the least, the last scripture for today before we take our communion. 1 Samuel 1, 19 and 20. 1 Samuel 1, 19 and 20. 1 Samuel chapter 1, 19 and 20. Please, can you bring your communion now? Bring it in your hand. Bring it in your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 1 Samuel, I think 17... To 20. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. The Lord God of Israel grant you your petition that you have asked of him. And she said, Let your handmaid find grace in your sight. So the woman went away and did it, and her countenance was no more sad. Yeah, Mr. Herman, no more sadness in the name of Jesus. 19. And they arose. And they rose up in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord and returned. I came unto their house to Ramah, and Elkanah knew Anna his wife, and the Lord remember her. Why it came to pass, when the time was come, about after Anna had conceived, that she brought a son. Hear me, sir, hear me, man. As you are going after this communion, I decree the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Let it go with you in the name of Jesus. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding as you go this morning. Let that peace go with you in the name of Jesus. Let it go with you in the name of Jesus. Let it be with you in the name of Jesus. Let it be upon your home, upon your marriage, upon your business, upon your career. The peace of God that will establish his word of God. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, and after that meeting, with the Lord after that encounter, Elkanah knew Anna and she conceived. Today, after you are going to be part of this communion, the next meeting between you and your spouse it shall bring forth fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Now, we got the communion. Father, I want to say thank you for today. Thank you for this communion. If you are in the office, please, as I said, bring your cup of water, raise it up. Thank you, Jesus. Are we ready? Father, I want to say thank you today. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the power in the blood. Thank you for your word to be fruitful that has come unto us. Thank you for day one. Thank you for day two. Thank you for today, the day three. 
Thank you for the anointing of fruitfulness. Thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus that cancel every decree of unfruitfulness. As you partake of today's communion, Father, I ask that you breathe upon it. As you partake of it, let it bring unto us a communion for fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. And after this communion, in the time after this communion, as you go back to our fearless home, Father, let it turn unto us, let it be unto us a communion for fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. And in the nine month time, that shall comfort our son, our daughter, our children in the name of Jesus. You did not hear me. I said, after this communion, as you go forth, after the nine months, you shall come forth with testimony of your son, of your daughter, of your children, your twins, your triplets, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we speak into this communion that this communion suspend every law of unfruitfulness in this family in the name of Jesus. As they partake of it, they take it unto life in Jesus' name. Father, breathe upon it the breath of life as it enter into them as they take them let it be life unto them and let a new life spring forth in their womb in the name of jesus thank you mighty father in jesus name we are praying in jesus name we are praying praise ye the lord so now take it take the flesh break it into two and you eat as you are eating begin to decrease i eat unto fruitfulness my son my daughter in the name of jesus I eat unto fruitfulness. I eat unto fruitfulness. I eat unto fruitfulness. So break the communion into two. I eat unto fruitfulness. Thank you, Jesus. Have you done that? Now take the flesh. Take the drink, the blood of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say I drink the blood of Jesus unto fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare? Say by the blood of Jesus. Say this morning, I drink unto fruitfulness. Can you declare and declare again? Say this morning, as I take the blood of Jesus, I drink unto fruitfulness. By this blood of Jesus, I shall be fruitful. My wife shall be fruitful. My husband shall be fruitful. And our fruitfulness will last in the name of Jesus. No steel bath, no abortion, no manipulation, no error. No medical error, no medical mistake, no accident in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Now drink. As you are drinking, begin to speak to your body. I drink unto life. I drink unto conception. I drink unto shy bearing. Thank you, Jesus. Do that and decree upon yourself. As you are drink, put your right hand on your womb. And bless your womb. Speak to your womb. My womb is blessed. No more abortion. No more stillbirth. No more delay. My husband's reproductive organ is correct. That is correction. That is defined correction. No more error. No more error. No more low, low quality. No quantity. Low quality. No quanti low quantity. No more. No more. No more, no more error. Speak to your womb. One minute. Speak to your womb. Say, my womb is blessed in the name of Jesus. My womb is blessed. I want you to speak that prayer. Pray. Say, my womb is blessed in the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare? Say, my womb is blessed. Say, my womb is blessed in the name of Jesus. Declare and declare it. Your womb is blessed. Your womb is blessed. Your womb is blessed. I want you to declare it, declare it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are pray. As we have decreed and declared this morning, your womb is blessed in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to say thank you. You said we should come for communion, for fruitfulness, for three days. We have done it the first day. We have taken it the second day. Today is the third day. We have taken it. I ask that you confirm your word in their life in the name of Jesus. In the life in this family that are believing you for fruit of the womb, I pray that through this communion, through this blood of Jesus, you will confirm your word in the name of Jesus. Every medical error are corrected. Every spiritual manipulation, the Lord put an end to them. By the special grace of God, I declare, I declare to you, 
in the next nine months you will come forward with your testimony in the name of jesus and the name of our lord god will be glorified in jesus name praise ye the lord praise the living jesus once again my name is ariola Oreolu, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry and this is spring eagles network if you have been blessed this morning if you know that you have been blessed these three days it is good to give an offering to the work of god when god bless you when god speak a word into one's life it is good to give a seed into that place as i've said you want to give an offering you want to give a seed or you want to support the work of god through this ministry amen just raise up your hand as i pray for you before we close raise up your hand the hand lifted up represent the seed represent the offering that you are giving i pray for you sir i pray for you ma the bible says in the book of genesis chapter 8 Noah carried sacrifice before the lord and he, the lord smelled the aroma and the lord blessed him as a result of the sacrifice the lord blessed noah and his children be fruitful multiply replenish the earth as you raise up your hand representing the seed the offering which represent the sacrifice that you are giving concerning your fruitfulness i pray for you sir i pray for you man. be ye fruitful multiply increase and let your seed let your fruitfulness let it last in the name of jesus so shall he be in jesus name praise ye the lord once again my name is ariola or the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry this is praying the good network you want me to pray with you or you need somebody to talk to you or you have something to share just send a message to plus 234 you see the numbers on the screen there plus 234 80 62 plus 234 80 62 all you are asking for the account you are on facebook or youtube you can see the account there amen or just send a message to the same account to the same number plus 234 80 Double five. Once again, plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. See, I hear from you your testimony. Go forth and rejoice in the Lord. Your testimony shall be full. Your testimony shall be permanent. I will soon hear your testimony in Jesus' name. God bless you. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend. You and I will one day leave this world, and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus, or you once did, and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.